Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Barvi and I film pregnancy and lifestyle videos. I'd love for you to subscribe down below and make sure you also hit the bell button so that you get notified every time I upload. So today I filmed a quick video just showing you how I remove my facial hair. So if you have seen one of my previous videos, I was talking about how we were able to conceive using metformin and the reason we had to use metformin is because I was diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome last year. Um, I will leave the video up here so you can see all the backstory about PCOS. So unfortunately, one of the really crappy side effects of polycystic ovaries is that you can get increased male hormones, which can lead to facial hair. So facial hair is not a problem I've ever really had to deal with before. Obviously I'm Indian, so I just had the usual kind of little sideburn area. But once I got diagnosed with PCOS, I started growing hair all on my neck and up the sides and it was a really really hard time I'm not gonna lie um, I tried laser hair removal and unfortunately that just made everything worse I did finally find a lady um, it was actually my friend's mum and she was doing my laser hair removal at the end of last year and it was working really well but then I fell pregnant so I had to stop because you can't do laser hair removal while you're pregnant so now I'm just waxing I just want to say that if you are suffering from extra facial hair growth from PCOS or for any other problem I just want you to know that it is is totally normal especially amongst Indian women um, a lot of us have to deal with this and it doesn't make you any less of a woman you shouldn't feel ashamed of it I mean at the end of the day it's just a bit of hair it's not doing any harm to anyone and um, yeah just I hope you don't feel too bad about it and hopefully this video will show you a really quick and easy and effective way to get rid of it at home it's totally free all you need is a wax pot and some wax strips which is definitely an investment worth making if this is something you need to keep on top of Obviously waxing doesn't work for everyone, so you just need to figure out what works best for the type of hairs that you've got. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop babbling now and show you how I do it. So this is the current hair growth on my neck. It's really, really bad. Obviously I have not left the house in well over a month, so this is about two months hair growth. Normally I'd wax it every three to four weeks. Um, I try and give it four weeks just because I want the hair to be like nice and long before I wax it. But this is out of control. This is the worst it's been for a very long time. So I like to do my waxing in my kitchen just because wax is an absolute bitch to get off surfaces so if you get it on um, a hard surface it's much easier to clean than if you get it on carpet so I have my wax pot on my kitchen counter I've just cleaned everything off covered the place in newspaper and plugged in my wax pot then over here I have just the box and I prop up my mirror so that I can see where I'm waxing. Also it's good to do it in front of a nice bright window because you want to get loads of light on your face so you can see all of the little hairs and make sure that you're removing everything properly. Um, it just makes it so much easier having loads of light. So yeah, this is my little waxing station. So I have just clipped my hair up as you can see and I'm going to start working on one side of my face go down and then work up the other side. I'm gonna work in quite small patches just because it gives me more control over where I'm waxing and it's also a lot more easier to manage with the pain. I'm also gonna be pulling my skin as I go along. It's just a lot easier to wax when your skin is taut and it's gonna hurt a lot less. So you want to put the wax in the same way that the hair is growing and then pull against it. That's going to give you a really nice clean pull and get all the hairs out. When you put the wax on the stick, you want to just spin it a bit to get all of the loose wax off it. And you also don't want to be putting too much on, otherwise it's just going to spill everywhere and be an absolute nightmare. Wax is so tricky, spillages are definitely gonna happen, especially if you're not a professional like me. I've just spilt a load all over my newspaper and I'm gonna show you the newspaper afterwards so you can see just how much I'm spilling everywhere. My wax is starting to get a little bit hot now, so I've just turned the temperature off. Um, if it starts to get too solid, then I'll have to turn the heat back on. But for now, I'm just gonna let it sit like that. 
So I've done all of this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this side down. Also my hands are starting to get a bit sticky, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on them and that's just gonna get rid of any wax I've got on them. I feel so good once I've got my waxing done. I actually feel like a woman again. So to finish off, I'm gonna just use some of this after wax oil. It's just gonna get rid of any extra bits of wax and also cool the area down. If it is really, really burning, then definitely get some ice on there and make sure that you're watching the temperature of your wax because you do not want to burn yourself. Just be really, really careful. If you feel that the wax is too hot, then just wait for it to cool down because the skin on your face is a lot more sensitive than it would be on your legs or on your arms. So you don't want to be taking any risks and burning yourself and having big scabs on your face. Just to quickly show you, this is all the mess that I've made. I've spilt wax here. I'm pretty sure I spilt some here and there was a bit of spillage there as well so make sure you're putting the newspaper down so guys that is how i wax my pcos facial hair slash beard i hope you enjoyed this video this is a really intimate video for me to put online but you know what lots of girls have facial hair and it's not something to be ashamed of i have a hormone imbalance that is why i have this it's not my fault and that does not make me any less of a woman so please if you do have facial hair don't feel bad about it it's normal a lot a lot of women have it especially if you're brown hashtag brown girl problems we know about the facial hair. We've been trying to get rid of it since we were 12 years old. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell button and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye.